XL gets lonely sometimes, and I want to bring in some of my old friends. So I'm going to work out the XL formula for Ms. Pac-Man. No computer code, no macros, all logic and arithmetic. If you want to see more of these videos, please leave a comment to let me know your favourite games. And don't forget to like and subscribe. What is the difference between Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man, really? Well, she has a bow in her head. That's it? <laughs> Get right out of town. No, that's it. <laughs> like all good jokes, this one works on multiple levels. Noah says that the only difference between Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man is the bow. What an idiot. Everyone knows she has lipstick, an eye, eyelash, a beauty spot, as well as a bow. No wonder everyone is laughing at Noah. I was thinking which famous women were the inspiration behind Miss Pac-Man. Maybe she got the beauty spot from Marilyn Monroe and the massive bow from Minnie Mouse. Miss Pac-Man wears her lipstick in a different way. Most women would put it on all of their lips, not just a little bit in the middle. I couldn't think of anyone who's ever worn lipstick like this. Then this character came to mind and it all made sense. Massive weird bow in the hair? Check. Half lipstick? Check. Beauty spot on both sides of the face? Check. Check. And from what film? The Phantom Menace? I'll tell you another Phantom Menace, being chased around a maze by literal phantoms. I made Pac-Man in the last video, I'm going to pick up from there and add on Ms. Pac-Man's features. Although the two aren't exactly identical, Ms. Pac-Man opens her mouth differently. Ms. Pac-Man, it appears, has a bigger mouth than her male counterpart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <coughs> and of course there's the beauty spot. That's as far as I can go with using Pac-Man as a template. I need to add another couple of conditional formatting criteria on top of what's already there. I built the bow in three parts. Part one looks more like a skull cap than a bow and just follows the top of Miss Pac-Man's head. Then I add a bit more to turn the skull cap into a red ribbon. And the finishing touch is the colour on the bow. Now, if you were Noah from Noah's Arcade, you'd think I was finished. Well, she has a bow in her head. Lipstick. Now, this is a strange choice. All of this is Ms. Pac-Man's mouth, and if one is wearing lipstick, one usually covers all the lips, not just a tiny bit at the front. I thought I'd try to correct this and finish off Ms. Pac-Man's makeup. <laughs> As Miss Pac-Man opens her mouth, the lipstick needs to move as well. Pac-Man didn't have any eyes, so he did really well against four sighted ghosts. Miss Pac-Man has blue eyes, which match the bow in her hair. This lady knows how to coordinate. Ms. Pac-Man even found the time to put on some mascara before the ghost apocalypse. Hi fans, I'm back again with another makeup tutorial for all you people who look just like me. Round, yellow, disembodied heads. You are beautiful too. So let's put on some lipstick. This shade is called uh, Electric Cherry. It's from Apple Mac. Uh, what I like about it is that it's bright, it lasts throughout all 141 levels, and you can eat as many power pellets as you want and it never comes off. Uh, next, a mascara always has to be black, and I'm such a massive fan of... The formula behind the eyelash is the same as it is for the lips. I created a line of a certain length and just moved it into place. And this is it, the XL equation for Ms. Pac-Man. Her equation is longer than that for Pac-Man. I guess the, uh, the equation for women is a lot more complicated than that for men. <coughs> the bow and the beauty spot don't move. The lips and eye move in relation to the mouth, so I just needed to connect the lips and the eye to the mouth, just as well I'm not a doctor. Just like in the Pac-Man video, I created a step-by-step -step table and connected Ms. Pac-Man to the scroll bar to animate her through the screen. Here's the whole thing one more time. Hit that like button and subscribe for more XL art.
Don't forget to put in the comments your favorite old games, and I'll animate the best suggestions in Excel. Thanks for watching. <laughs>